things, let's go. That's it. Love you guys. Let's go. Gang on me, gang on three. One, two, three. Gang. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten, he wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold, and the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Raider Nation is talking about everyone under the sun, but Jared Stenham playing quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders in 2023, so I'm going to make a case for him. He's the second quarterback in the last 50 years to throw for 350 yards or more and three touchdowns in his debut. He did that against the San Francisco 49ers number one ranked defense too. He and Patrick Mahomes are the only ones to throw for 300 yards or more and three touchdowns against them. Yeah, I know. They didn't have any tape on them like the Kansas City Chiefs did, right? Come on, man. If that was the case, more than two quarterbacks would have debuted with those type of numbers. The Chiefs didn't do anything special. They just have Chris Jones, pressure stood him 56% of the time and sacked him six times. How many quarterbacks win or do well under that kind of heat? But he got put right back on the back burner after that game. Listen, y'all, Aaron Rodgers costs too much. Tom Brady's too old and Jimmy Garoppolo's too brittle. This draft class doesn't have an Andrew Luck in it either. There's no one in it that has anything Stenham doesn't either, so why not fix the other areas of the team around Stenham? We start with the bat of the 49er game. Stenham has to make better judgment calls than this. Throwing into double coverage while getting hit is not a good idea. He got away with that though. Stenham also has the curse of the big arm, which means pass the sail on you at times. Then here's an interception that wasn't his fault and he had no control over. It got tipped at the line of scrimmage. On this one, his own left tackle, Colt Miller, runs into him unexpectedly. You can't blame Stidham for that. You can't blame Stidham for that interception any more than you can blame Carr for this one. Offensive linemen have to anchor down and not get pushed back into their quarterback like that. But overall, Stidham did what he was supposed to do in that game. He used that big arm to get the ball down the field to Devontae Adams. Adams comes up with a nice catch on that one. Now watch this one 20 yards down the field in a line to the numbers to Adams. The ball jumps out of his hand. Watch the beautiful ball placement on this fade to Adams. Here he is, Adams in the scramble drill. This one's gonna go 25 yards in a straight line while he's getting hit. That's a big arm. Adams seven catches for 153 yards and two touchdowns says he has a good connection with Stidham already. Stidham also seemed to have an immediate connection with tight end Darren Waller. Look at that throw. And here he's going to hit him again up high. Waller had three catches for 72 yards in this touchdown. Not bad for a guy coming back from injury. But it was much more than the Adams Waller show. Stidham spread the ball around a little. You know, slot receiver Hunter Renfro had to have his hand in it. And backup tight end Foster Moreau had a big piece of the action. 
Stidham hit him in the flats on a waggle. Over the middle. And outside over a defender. And at times when he was in trouble, he found running back Josh Jacobs in the scramble drill. And not to be left out is receiver Mac Hollins, who he finds in the scramble drill here. And again, that arm. Watch this throw as he gets hit. And if the defense drops back too deep or has his back to him, he will take off. Oh yeah, he's not staying in that pocket if he gets too hot in there. And if there's a first down or touchdown to get, he's going to fight for it instead of slide. I don't know how often you want him to put it on display, but he has some heart. Alright, we got a linebacker coming up to make him tackle. Slide, get down, anything. You don't want that work, do you? Apparently he does because he takes them on along with a bunch of other 49ers defenders and he doesn't go down. Now we're on to the Chiefs and the bad. Stidham has to secure the football no matter what. You cannot give a team like the Chiefs turnovers. Here comes another one. That rush was coming but you still have to hold on to the ball. I'll let you decide if this interception was a bad decision, but it was definitely an underthrown ball. Now this right here was a bad decision and a bad throw. And I didn't like this throw on the back shoulder fade. Now let's talk about the bad that he had no control over, like Chris Jones. Jones had 11 pressures, 3 quarterback hits, and 2.5 and sacks. But it was more than Jones. The Chiefs are going to get Stidham with a safety blitz here. As a whole, they had 29 pressures, 7 quarterback hits, and 6 sacks. And here comes Jones again for another sack. Alex Barr was barbecue chicken that day for Jones. Time for another bite of that chicken for Jones. This one's easy work. The Chiefs brought that heat from the interior right into Stidham's face all day. It's hard for the quarterback to step up and make the throw when the heat's coming from the interior. Stidham didn't get any help from his pass catchers either. They left their hands in the locker room. The ball's gonna be a little behind Adams on this one, but Adams makes this catch 999 times out of a thousand. But not that time. And speaking of catches Adams makes 999 times out of a thousand, how about this one? That's a 32 yard touchdown pass Adams dropped. This one is bogus here. Pass interference should have been called, but it wasn't. Stidham would throw a touchdown pass to Hunter Renfro on the next play anyway. Now here comes a catch Waller usually makes, but didn't. And that's a 30 yard gain Stidham didn't get. 
Stidham has another 300-yard game and two touchdowns if not for the drops by Adams and Waller. Oh, and just because the Kansas City Chiefs sacked Stidham six times doesn't mean he just stood there and took it in the pocket all day. Anytime he had a fighting chance, he got up out of there. As a matter of fact, he was the team's leading rusher with 50 yards on 7 carries. Here he's going to show a little speed to get outside on this rollout. Again, when he felt the rush coming and he couldn't find anyone open, he's getting out of there. He was no one sitting duck. Stidham didn't give Adams a 150-yard game in one game and a 25-yard game in the next like Carr did. He got the ball to Adams in the next game too. Watch the accuracy and touch on this fade to Adams. Here's going to throw into a window to him over the middle. And watch this bullet about 15 yards past the line of scrimmage. And this one's 20 yards past the line of scrimmage. Toom. That kid has an arm. Anyway, Adams had five catches for 73 yards. That's better than what he was previously following up his big performances with. Stidham was finding Waller too. Watch him take this hit and deliver it to him over the middle. Oh yeah, and third and Renfro is still a thing. He's another guy that can get open over the middle and move the sticks for you. And he's a sneaky red zone threat. Watch this dime Stidham throws to him. Stidham seems to already have a connection with Adams, Waller, and Renfro. I think it's a shame that we haven't even been talking about Stidham possibly staying on as quarterback for the Raiders in 2023. He's only 27, so he's young. He's not expensive, and he's not brittle. Oh, and to go along with that, he's not just talented, he's uber talented. Ask offseason quarterback coach Jordan Palmer. He's worked with Patrick Mahomes and all of them, and he said there's no one in the NFL that has any more arm talent than Stidham has. So instead of giving up a bunch of assets in the trade or spending a lot of money, why not give him a shot? And you can use that number 7 pick for something else to help the team. And that's my case for him. Thank you for watching. See you next time.